Welcome to the Chiefs way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50. Hello YouTube. Today we're gonna to do a video on how you can protect your portable solar power stations from nearby lightning strikes and EMP pulses. So we're gonna be using from uh, disasterpreparedness.com. I got this 26 by 30 inch um, EMP bag, which is uh, good for about a 50 dB reduction. So if you know anything about uh, decibels, every three decibels is half power. So oh, 50 dB is a lot of reduction. And we have our UPEZ uh, 1800, which is a one of the you know the larger size uh, inver in inverter uh, you know solar generators, and we have some uh, hose uh, laundry clips. So what we're gonna do is we gotta put our UPS into our bag, and then we'll see what's next. Okay, we got our UPES uh, 1800 down inside of our 26 by 30 inch EMP bag. So now all we basically have to do is just, you know, just fold the top up over each other several times and we'll use one of our laundry clips to uh, seal it shut and we'll be good to go. All right, we got it uh, folded over several times and we got our clips on there and that's all we need. You know, the, the several folds of the bag is going to keep the, you know, the EMP or the lightning strike, the, the pulses from making its way into the bag. Okay, now we got the Jackery 1000 and we're still going to use this same um, 26 by 30 bag because the next bag's, you know, size down is too small. So we're going to put our Jackery into our bag, fold it up and clip it just like the last one. Okay, we got it in the bag and we got our clips on. I mean, these are, I use these because they're, you know, they're, I have them. You know, a lot of people have them already, but you can always use like duct tape, you know, and just kind of tape it down also if you want. You're just basically keeping it from coming unopened so that the, uh, you know, the poles can make it in there. All right, so now let's take a look at the Jackery 500. All right, next we got the Jackery 500 and we have a 18 by 24 bag. This is the next size down from that 26 by 30 that we used for the, the bigger stations. And I've also got out a, uh, you know, a wood clamp, you know, for woodworking. So you can see that you can use, you know, just about anything to keep this bag closed. So let's get it in there. Okay, we got it in there. But this one just fits. That's why we can't use, uh, we have to put the Jackery 1000 into that bigger bag, the same as the 1800, because this next size bag just is big enough. So let's get it folded up and clamped. Okay, we got it all folded down and you see I got the clamp on, so we'll go on to the next one. All right, now we're down to the Jackery 290, which is about the same size as the, uh, the, the 300 and we have a 16 by 18 bag so let's get it in and get it uh closed up okay we got it all in there and i got it clamped down with another word woodworking clamps which they work real good and you get them pretty cheap over at harbor freight if you want now if you like this uh content please like and subscribe and in the uh description will be uh, links to all these bags I got from disasterpreparedness.com and right up here is going to be a link to where I used one of their biggest bags to protect a Predator 2000 watt generator. So again, if you like this content, please like and subscribe and solar on.